Nadine took us right there, didn't she? She tells us the call ended early because of those airstrikes. They were fleeing to find new shelter. Palestinians are not the only ones living in fear right now. Morgan Trow continues our coverage tonight with the stories of those living in Israel and those in Northeast Ohio waiting for word from family. Thousands of rockets started flooding Israel on Shabbat, a Jewish holiday. When Sue Borison heard, she went to call her family members. But each minute going by without a response felt like a ticking time bomb. Every day is a, a little bit kind of like waking up and expecting the nightmare to have been a dream. She sits in silence, checking in to make sure her loved ones and friends are still alive. The Jewish Federation of Cleveland leader is mourning after the unexpected attack on Israel killed more than 1,200 people. Slaughtered by terrorists from Hamas, burned alive, decapitated, and then pictures taken. She says it's a helpless feeling knowing that people like Martin Mendelssohn are hearing rockets every day. Mendelssohn studied in Ohio but moved to Israel with his family. Three of my kids, my wife and I, uh, had about a minute and a half to make it into the bomb shelter. But he thinks about his other kids, soldiers now fighting against Hamas. We cannot have rockets raining down on our country anymore. Israel, with support from the United States, has launched a fierce counterattack in Gaza, one that has already killed more than 1,400 people, according to Palestinian authorities. Retired Israeli Defense Forces Brigadier General Amir Avivi says this is needed to protect Israel and Israelis. We had a very difficult uh, few days. Uh, really the atrocities and uh, massacre and Unbelievable. It's like a Holocaust uh, feeling. You're officially going to war. We are heading to a long war. Israelis and Palestinians have been fighting over who the land belongs to for decades. But Borison says this shouldn't cause a loss of innocent life. I think the conversation should be around the loss and devastation in a country that in no way reflects movement toward peace when people want peace and freedom as the war wages on she continues checking her phone hoping for better news i'm morgan trow reporting